I think the GOP field certainly starting to get more crowded. We could have, again, 12 yeah. by Friday. And joining us now is former Democrat, New, York, New Jersey Assemblyman and candidate for governor, John Winiski. John, thanks for joining us. Okay, so you led the investigation into the Bridgegate scandal. You know Christie very well. Do you think he has a chance in this race? Well, I think right now, uh, with a 12-person, perhaps as many as 14-person field, I think this makes Donald Trump more likely to get the nomination. There's one big maybe in all of this. If Donald Trump gets indicted, does that affect his base? Because really, all of these candidates, whether it's Chris Christie, Mike Pence, or anybody else, they have to try to peel away some of that MAGA base from Donald Trump. Otherwise, they have no shot. The only way they might be able to do that is if there's an indictment and the MAGA base decides to move away from Donald Trump. Otherwise, Chris Christie is really auditioning for vice president. That's interesting. So, I, you know, we are now a week removed from DeSantis uh, making the announcement last week. Uh, and I keep looking for a kink in the Trump armor. Morning consult with a poll out just about 30 minutes ago. Trump's at 56 percent. These are huge numbers. DeSantis, the next closest candidate, is at 22 percent. Um, let's get back to Chris Christie, who, by the way, is at 1 percent in this. He's going to make it official tonight. You know him inside and out politically. Um, is he a serious candidate, or do you think he's being deployed to try and take Trump down? I don't think I don't think he's being deployed to get into a race, whether it's for president or governor, requires not only you, but your entire family and everything you've got. And so I, I doubt that he's getting in this as a stalking horse or to do someone else's bidding. I think his view is, what have I got to lose? I'm a former governor. This guy may be indicted. There may be a lane for me. Why not? And the worst that might happen for him is if Trump is the nominee, he may then audition for Trump's vice president spot, which he wanted uh, in 2016, but didn't get. Good point. What about a secretary of state? Because there's a lot of talk going around that that may be what he's really running for. Well, I, I think that, you know, any of those significant cabinet jobs are also uh, a, a third tier. Like the second tier is vice president. If you don't get to be president, you want to be vice president. If you can't be vice president, secretary of state's not a bad place to be. Secretary of the Treasury. Uh, Federal Reserve chairman, all of those key policy points. So, but I, I do think that Chris Christie made this decision because he potentially sees an indictment. Don't forget his background as a former U.S. attorney. He's probably got back channels. He probably knows a little more than most about what might be coming down the road from some of his former colleagues in the FBI and in the Department of Justice. And so this may be timed for him uh, on the eve of potentially an indictment and his belief that perhaps that enables him to peel away people from Donald Trump. But huh. let's not forget, Good point. Uh, you know, he was Donald Trump's big supporter before he was his big detractor. Well, First, I think he, he was a detractor, then he was a supporter, and now he's back to being a detractor again. Uh, he's, he's running against him. Let, let's talk about the Democrats just quickly. Um, so yesterday, and Karine Jean-Pierre is going to get this question, I, I, think, I think, more and more frequently now. But think about it like this. If Joe Biden wins a second term and, and completes his term, he will not be leaving the Oval Office until January 2029. He'll be pushing 87 mm -hmm. years old. Does age play a bigger role in this race moving forward? Well, you know, every race involves age to some degree, and the Republicans will make a case that Joe Biden is too old. But frankly, if he's too old, then he's re performing remarkably. He got a budget deal done when everyone suggested it was impossible. He's gotten bipartisan legislation with the Republican House on infrastructure. He's been able to actually perform, outperform everyone's expectations. So if that's performing at 80 plus years old, sign me up for that. I think he's doing a fantastic job. All right, John Winiski, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Thanks, John. Great to be on, thank you. Of course.